Hey folks, welcome to Regular Guy DIY. Today we're gonna to take a look at a couple of products that you can use to refinish your kitchen or bathroom countertops. Daich, day, die, daich, daich. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Spreadstone countertop finishing kit and the Gianni countertop paint kit. So let's go. <laughs> If you've been following our kitchen makeover series, you've seen us paint the upper cabinets in Annie Sloan chalk paint, bright white, and the lower cabinets in graphite. We built up the island cabinet with wood trim, and then we topped it all off with butcher block countertops and columns to create a beautiful kitchen centerpiece. Our next project is to recover the remaining countertops with a product that resembles a stone or granite surface, but without all the cost. So after searching, we came up with two products. I'm going to show you how that worked out. And I'd also like to have your feedback. Let me know which one you think is the best for our kitchen. The first product that I used was a Gianni countertop paint kit. The kit comes with all the supplies that you need, and it states it will cover up to 35 square feet of counter surface. So, like with standard countertops that are about 24 inches deep, that gives you about 17 and a half linear feet of coverage. This product also gives you the ability to vary the look of three different paint layers so that you can create a custom look that suits your desire. Now, we have a small cabinet area between our kitchen and dining room, and we thought, well, why don't we just refinish that and see if we really like it before we move on to the entire kitchen? I mean, worst case, if we don't like it, we can always redo it, right? I mean, this is a DIY channel. Due to the timing of projects in the house, I had leftover countertop that was removed from our kitchen island, so I decided to cut that into smaller pieces, and that could be used to evaluate the two options. In hindsight, I really wish I would have done that before I refinished an existing countertop, but oh well, that's just the way it works out sometimes. So the second product that I used was the Dayich, still trying to figure that one out, spread stuff. And that kit comes with all the supplies that you need, and it states that we'll cover up to 50 square feet. So about 25 linear feet of your standard counter surface. Now, the main difference between the two products we used are that the diet spread stone, it requires sanding before putting on the final coat. So that's going to add a bit of dust and clean up to your project. So it's just something to keep in mind. On a positive note though, it does give you more flexibility to tailor the look of the finished product depending on your personal preference. So you can choose to sand the surface a little and have a rougher surface or sand it a little bit more for a smoother surface that shows more of the mineral color. In the next episode of our Kitchen Makeover series, we're gonna refinish the remaining countertop surfaces with one of these two products. And I'd like to get your feedback on which one you think would be best. So please comment below and let us know. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like what you saw, please give us a thumbs up. I'm gonna give a fist bump to my subscribers. And if you're not one, please consider doing so. Also, be sure to ring that bell so you get notifications when I drop new videos. Thanks again for watching Regular Guy DIY. You got this.